We're going to have a look to see how you use ClearString to build data-rich applications like this blog. A complex page like this is made up of a number of elements. They're all made in a similar way. We'll look more closely at the Tag Cloud display. The Tag Cloud is part of the right side public widget column. We use a floating toolbox to access the Layout Manager so we can examine the surface of that layout element in the text editor. You'll see a placeholder for each view used. The actual contents of the display are generated at runtime. We'll examine the setting for the tag cloud by right-clicking on the embed and selecting Edit Embed. Then we'll see an overview of the query that generates the contents and the view that controls how the output appears. The key component is the query, so we'll look at that. In the query, we see in the lower section the controls over which fields are selected and how they're formatted. The fields themselves are drawn from the data sources in the upper section, which are the tables containing the primary data. We'll use the edit function to look in closer detail at one of the tables. In the table view, we can see the individual fields and the edit controls available. So how do you do this? Moving to the layout view of the application, in the left column we see all the available components. Each component can be used an unlimited number of times in any application. Here we've used a list view, a page, a query, and a table, which are then added to the website to create the structure. The page provides a surface onto which all of the other components are embedded, and it's in the public part of the site. Behind the scenes, we'll see the table used to hold the tag data, and then the query that controls the output, and finally the list view controlling the appearance of the tag cloud. So then we can return to the original view of the blog and see how these components are used together to produce a finished page, all without scripting or manual coding.